some Republican lawmakers, apparently they are looking to shut down travel to China because of a spike in pneumonia cases uh, there. The travel ban is actually proposed by Senators Marco Rubio, J.D. Vance, Rick Scott, Tommy Tuberville, and Mike Braun. They really sound similar to some of the COVID restrictions that lasted in some form until June of 2022. Let's bring in our friend, News Nation travel editor, Peter Greenberg. Peter, good to see you as always. Is this an over a correction or over assumption about how serious the illnesses are in China, or is this real cause for concern? Well, it's always going to be cause for concern. But remember, in the post-pandemic world, we're not in the post-COVID world. And what that means is we've gone from fighting the virus to managing it. And that's what the world has been doing since about 2021. And that's what we've been doing relatively successfully. Are we still seeing some outbreaks? We are. But it's now being managed in a much better way. And, of course, people are continuing to get the latest version of the vaccines. What you're seeing now is China travel both from the U.S. heading east, meaning going west, and from Chinese travel going back to the United States is starting to come back in a very small way, but it's starting. It's the last area of the world to come back and start traveling uh, outside of their own country since, since uh, let's say, 2020, since 2020. So what we're seeing right now is concern. Right now, we're not seeing a, a real problem medically. Uh, we haven't seen it because most, most people have gotten vaccinated. We're seeing that all, as a prophylactic that's working. So, yes, should we be concerned about incoming travel? We should. And maybe there should be some requirements for people to show their vaccination cards again. Remember those days? Yeah, um, I, those were not fun days for a lot of people. I mean, it, it was just this kind of puts a lot of people on edge. First of all, these cases that we're seeing in China are predominantly all children. They're little kids. And so it doesn't seem that it would provoke the same type of health warning from the CDC. But has the CDC issued anything? Not that I'm aware of other than growing concern. And we should be having growing concern, but at the same time, there are easy ways to mitigate this. You could actually have, from incoming passengers from, from Asia, a requirement to show proof of vaccination. That's nothing wrong with that. We did it all ourselves. Uh, but in terms of U.S. travelers going over there, uh, I have the, the doctors that I've talked to have told me as long as you're properly vaccinated, in fact, even getting the second booster, you should be good to go. Okay. So in terms of real concern right now, nobody's nobody's mentioning it. OK, well, that's certainly good news. We all need to take a collective deep breath, because as soon as you mention travel bans and it's the holidays, people are going to freak out. We yeah. don't need a freak out. But uh, something that a lot of people are talking about is the shakeup over the weekend between Alaska Airlines announcing plans to buy Hawaiian Airlines and regulators saying, mm, not so fast. What is your scoop? Well, remember, there's a difference between a merger and an outright acquisition. Uh, you may remember Alaska Airlines purchased Virgin America. And what happened? Virgin America disappeared. Alaska took the brands off the plane. It became one airline. This is more of a situation where they're going to maintain, at least they're saying they are, the Hawaiian Airlines brand and the Hawaiian Airlines roots. And if you take a look at the roots where they compete, it's really on, on transcontinental, I mean, excuse me, intercontinental stuff between the United States overseas. Uh, but... By and large, Alaska already flies to Hawaii, and, and Hawaiian Airlines, of course, already flies to the mainland. What you're going to see here, if it works, is Alaska then gets their routes all the way through the Pacific and down to the South Pacific, and Hawaiian gets better connectivity once you land in the West Coast of the United States all the way through the Alaskan Airlines route network. So on paper, it looks like it may work. Of course, the regulators are still trying to deal with JetBlue trying to merge with Spirit, and that's in the courts right now in Boston. So. Don't hold your breath about having this happen very quickly, but it has been announced. Well, it seems like a no-brainer, I think, for a lot of people who see the similarities in routes. But what do you think? Is that going to cause tickets to go up or actually maybe have a better deal for customers? Well, I can only speak historically here. I don't want to give you some bad news. I have never seen a merger that happened that didn't result in higher fares. All right. Peter Greenberg. Thank you for the reality check. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.